What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Clip Point. I'm Josh. I'm Greg. And this is a channel where we do no nonsense reviews about no nonsense gear. Yes, indeed. This is our first video in the new studio. All we've got up is as far as our decor, which we've got, we've got a lot of plans, but we got a uh, dear old Tony Bose back there watching over us. What Son. else? What else do you need? Um, so that will remain in the studio in yes, creative places. So watch for it. Um, but also make sure you guys like, subscribe, ding the bell, and comment down below. What do we got today? We have a really, really cool. What do they call this? That is a, is a like a that is tool their tool bag. What yeah, it's their it? armadillo armadillo black mm -hmm. tool roll. It's really, really cool. So, um, so it's from Roaring Fire Gear. Which uh, shout out to them, guys. Follow them on Instagram. Check them out. Uh, they sent this to us to review. To share with you guys, you'll see it in some uh, photos on Instagram, um, and honestly, we were blown away. Yeah, I mean, um, forty dollars for this bag, by the way. Yeah, it's it it's up. it's a heavy duty canvas. I mean, it's not heavy. It, it it's substantial though. Yeah, water resistant. Okay, um, I could see that, and you could even because it is uh, fabric, you could even spray it down if you really want it to be water yeah. resistant. You know and put um, waterproofing agent on there. Yeah, it's a cool, cool bag. It is. Um, plastic hardware, lightweight, you know, won't won't corrode. Um, the, you know, this strap right here, so I actually have um, some Russian surplus leather bag that, um, it's like an ammo pouch, and it's very similar to this material, real thick, real heavy, um, real strong and tough. So it's interesting that it has kind of a modern take on an ammo bag almost, you know, like yeah. in a knife roll or Well, it reminds roll. me of a butcher's roll. Oh, okay. So, well, that's that's part of where your family hails from. That's part of your family's profession. Yeah, so uh, a butcher roll is very similar to this. So um, pretty straightforward review, guys. Uh, a lot to like about this. Um, and, and the big thing for me, Josh, when I got into this thing, YKK zippers. Any product that uses YKK zippers takes their product seriously. Oh, they don't kink. It, it works. It zips. It's thick. It's heavy. And you, you can have more uh, security. There's nothing more frustrating than putting on clothes or getting into gear. And the daggum zipper sticks. I can't stand that. Um, I, I, I will just not ever use that product again. That's a fact. If the zippers don't work. I mean, I, well, want, to, I want speed. I want you ease of use. You won't get to use the product again because the zippers won't work. That's They'll right. be kinked up. They'll be kinked up. So um, some really, really cool elements here. Let's get into the knife roll kind of aspects. That's our channel, right? We would have multiple knives here. Um, and I really like the fact they put a flap here. Well, yeah, it protects it. It protects it, keeps the noise down so you don't rattle and jingle. Um, so you could actually be pretty quiet with this. And when you have your, I'll hold this up into the... Yeah, you know, one thing, so when I place knives into this, um, this was really nice to carry a variation of knives. So yes. obviously most of your big folders here on the table, we've got an Emerson Quiken. We've got this Heretic Medusa. They fit right down in these pockets, right? But also, guys like us carry slip joints, and they fit in these elastic pockets really great. Um, oh, that's a pretty small little slip joint, too, and it works great. Yeah, so yeah. the retention's there. Another thing that I really liked, so our EDC oil, um, McMurtry's EDC oil goes, it's it's a narrow pin, and it fits perfect in this pocket Oh, right it has here. a little pin part. Yes. That's perfect. And lots of different um, ammo mag sizes will fit here. And look, I love the side pocket for you to put. Oh, cool. There's your tag. We'll do maybe some B-roll of that. Um, but really, really cool size pocket. You know, I was thinking for the tactical guy, this would be actually a neat um, toiletry bag, believe yeah. it or not. Um, because you can have you know, ammo, tools, whatever, and you can have um, some simple toiletries here. Well, I mean, just, I mean, I, it just kind of struck me as... Think of it like this, too. Um, something real world that you could travel with. With slip joints, we typically like to have... Listen uh, to the zipper. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's I great. know it's a small thing, but, but you that's can put, how you know. You put your slip joint sheets in there. You could put... Yeah, um, so many things. Polishing paste, polishing cloth, Anything like that. So, you know, especially when you're into the Instagram side of, this, of the world, um, which I know a lot of you guys are, um, you know, to be able to kind of travel or go somewhere and to have your 
um, kit with you with everything yeah. that you sort of need, chargers, all of that, and you can t- take your week off on vacation but not miss your Instagram post. Well, and when you carry multiple knives and you like to have a variation of knives, this helps with that when you're traveling. Um, it's discreet. It's not loud. Um, and you can remove these, obviously, um, the uh, shoulder strap, if you would so choose. I would. I wouldn't carry it like that. I would carry it it's, by the handle. It just depends on you. It's great, too, because even, let's just say you're... You're not using it for knives. Maybe you're just a guy who carries handy tools or you need a, a place to put your tools in your truck. This is great. It's going to protect it. Water resistant. Um, I believe it's the duckware canvas is what they use. Okay. Um, which is great. I do like the little uh, Velcro. Yeah, it's got a little there. Velcro. You can put some swag on there. Um, it's got this grab handle too, which is nice. You know, put your name on there. Kind of you have on there. It's, that's about the size of what Somebody yeah. would, a uh, service member would have on the back of their cap. Yeah, I mean, if it hangs over, it's not a big deal. Right. Um, but great. It's the, uh, so that's the black armadillo mini tool roll up bag from Roaring Fire Gear. Uh, you know, huge shout out to them for sending it to us. Yeah, thank you. It's always, it's always crazy when these companies send us gear because we're not going to pull punches. We're going to give you guys an honest review yeah. of the product. And it's not that we're trying to, you know, inflate somebody or hurt somebody's feelings. It's just, if you're going to spend your hard-earned money on a product like this, we want to make sure you know what you're getting. Yeah. Um, and for 40 bucks, what a steal. And it's heavy duty. Um, it's not chintzy, right? No. You know, I've signed up to some memberships, some tactical stuff, and you get like a free bag. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of like a gimmicky thing. And you get the bag, and it's horrible. It's either super-duper stiff and, and like scrapey, and you're like, oh, it's not even, I don't even yeah, like well, it's it. The like, water I could resistant. never wear it. Right. And then it's like, um, or it's the chintzy, super duper thin. And the moment you put some tension on that zipper, it pulls apart. Yeah. Right. This is neither of those. This is a soft material. Material. Look, look how pliable it is. Yeah, which is nice. I love it. Because that. if you're not using it and you want to shove it down in another bag, or exactly. Something. I mean, it takes up no space. Right. And it goes. I mean, that's just really, really tiny for when you're not using it. Let me put myself on vibrate. Sorry for being rude. Um, and yeah, dude, I mean, it just it just does it all. Um, you know, I, I don't know if I have any real complaints. I mean, I'll say very minor. You know, there's might be a little piece of stitching or some yeah. threading. I mean, if you guys want to be that nitpicky, it's 40 you, bucks. You, yeah, exactly. For 40 bucks, you can't beat it. Um, only thing I would say is from a military tactical perspective, I would like to see them put their logo and maybe an OD green to match it. I agree. Um, I mean, I, I mean, it's kind of neat, you know, for an EDC guy, it's, it's fine, but I would rather it be blending in for sure. Subtlety is the key. Like have it, have the option like the Under Armour. Right. Right. I mean, it's subtle. Yeah. You know, it's lo- there. The logo on my shirts are subtle as well. Yeah. You can't see it. Yeah. Logo is maybe some dog hair and lance. <laughs> yeah, uh, but but I mean I really dig the bag. I think for forty bucks, you know. So when I went to their Instagram page, it's one of those things that like pictures. You can't buy it off the picture. Fact. It's a hard product to pick out because you know, like five eleven, they've got all the Molly on it, and they have that dude in the woods you with know, his awesome glasses on. Or whatever, and you can kind of buy into the picture. When you look at this as a static product, it's hard to appreciate it. It but really when you've is. got it in hand, it's you can really appreciate it. I really like it. And honestly, it's the perfect size for for what I would use it for. Any bigger, and it's too big. The question is, who gets to use it? Oh, well, I guess we just kind of rotate. I guess so. <laughs> or you know, it's like I said, it's forty bucks. We'll have to just get us another one. That's a good point. Um, you know, uh, this is one thing that's interesting uh, that I'll point out. Um, that's stitched over. The oh, I see. Yeah. Um, which, you know, for 40 bucks, you can't complain. But you could pop those stitches and it'd be fine. Yeah, you could. Um, oh, the, the grab handle stitching. Oh, I, yeah. I see. Yeah. But uh, Small thing. Yeah, super small. And honestly, that's not a turnoff for me because yeah. it's such a convenient bag. Yeah. This flap. Put your stuff in there. Yeah. I mean, I loaded it down yesterday, and uh, you know we've been using it to, to transport knives back and forth. Yeah, I think that'll be. And I'm gonna have to get one. Um, I think that'll probably be. 
my travel Instagram. Right now I use an old, like a Kimber gun case. Yeah. And um, But they still hit, they touch. They still touch because um, even with all that foam in there, it's not as thick as a pistol. All right. And so it doesn't hold it in place. And right. Ride, they ride well, and some knives are thicker than others. So That's right. Kind of... So you create that gap. and Yeah. yeah it's, it's actually frustrating. I actually will like that. And I will use that for um, Instagram yeah. content for when I travel. So. Guys, grab one of these. Yeah. Uh, their website says it's limited edition. I don't know how limited edition it is. Um, but for 40 bucks, it's a steal. Yeah. I and, it. and it's, you know. And it's way better than a hard plastic case that has a specific space right. it has to fit into. Well, let's say you have. You know, I can put more in here, and it's smaller than my gun case. You could put, you could pack that down with your knives and insert that into a suitcase. Exactly, easier than my hard polymer case. And not only that, but like, what if I, what if it's just two days? I only need two days worth of supply in here. Mm-hmm. I only stack it up so much, and then I just get it rolled even tighter and even smaller whereas my plastic hard cases i can't do that exactly yeah. and he cinched down excellent exactly. piece of gear and guys yep. this is our first it. uh not knife review yes. um, gear review on the channel um couldn't have picked for a better product to kick it off with yep. uh, again thanks to roaring fire gear for trusting us with your tool roll thank you um guys pick one up we'll put the link in the description below um not an affiliate link. It's just an honest link. Guys, go click it. Get you one. I don't think you'll be sorry. Yeah, I think you'll enjoy it. Yeah. So if okay. you've gotten some Roaring, Roaring Fire, leave a comment below. Know, yeah. Let us know what you think. If there are some other product reviews that are not nice, maybe you guys would like to see. We can reach out to those companies. And, yeah. You know, see, see what we can come up with. It might so. even be something we have, you know, like maybe it's a certain kind of flashlight or whatever. Who knows? We got some stuff. So. Yeah, man. Yep. Let us know. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah. And as always, thanks for watching. Um, and we'll catch you on the next one. Yeah. I would say stay sharp, but stay organized. Oh, uh, well, yeah. And uh, it's organization. I hope you enjoy this as it progresses, because yes. right now this is not how it's going to yes, stay. It looks no. like we're in somebody's bedroom, and yep. it's actually it's actually not, an office. <laughs> not a bedroom at all. It's a corporate office. We so. have a whiteboard. Yeah. So, so. we'll. Uh, Use it. Yeah. Anyways, see you on the next one. Yeah. Stay sharp.